guys, Shanna Lee here. I wanted to do a quick video on how I use my Zyron sticker maker for making embellishments for Ooh, my love Ericon stickers. Planner. And I love decorating my planner. And um, other than that, in the run of a year, I really don't use stickers much. So I don't really need an industrial size sticker maker. Here it is here. The Zyron X sticker maker. And when you buy this, it comes with 20 feet adhesive in length. Now, um, it, if you take it out of here, it comes in a box like this. It runs for about $10. This is and what it the comes with. With, you can make stickers and up to an inch and a half, which is perfect because the blocks in my Erin Condren planner are an inch and a half, so I didn't really need a You can buy this at Walmart shape. or Michaels or... I bought this on eBay for $10 and it came with a second uh, replacement permanent adhesive. That was about $10 cartridge. Canadian, so you probably get it for less than that, but... I live in the middle of nowhere, but I, so I like to have everything shipped to my door. So I'm going to show you how this works. It's super simple. It's not mechanical. It's all manual. It's just a piece of plastic and it feeds through the top. So I just wanted to show you some of my printables. I printed these at home. I've got some cute little check box. I've got hydrate stickers, vacuums for um, activities like coast cleaning, nail polish for like days out at the to get my nails done or manicure, pedicure, barbells for when I need to do some exercise. I got this cute little printable from their, pa their pastel checklist planner stickers from Vintage Glam Studio. And I'll leave links to these free printables get important below. events, no school, shopping, work, trips, dentist, weather stickers. And then you've got these cute little um, made in Word, Microsoft Word, some free I, uh, images that, on Google cut and pasted them into size in columns, copied and pasted, printed it out. Um, and that's shopping, a scale for weigh-in dates, envelopes for things that need to be mailed, telephone, and more shopping carts. So yeah, let's get started. So I've got a whack of stuff here. I'm not going to do it all for you, but I will give you some examples. So let's start with um, these cute little check boxes. And I've already cut out one side here, and it's an inch and a half. You have to remember, um, when getting stickers for your Erin Condren planner, you want an inch and a half. So make sure your image is face up. It fits in here perfectly, like I said. It holds anything up to an inch and a half. And then down here you can see a serrated edge. It helps to tear it off when you're done. This is the cartridge here. And you just pull this tab. So here we go. We're going to make some stickers. It goes through. You just make sure it's straight. And then you start pulling. And you just keep pulling. Keep pulling. Keep pulling. And there you have it. When you get to the end, you can either tear it off or leave it on. I'm going to leave it on because it helps not waste the adhesive. I also have this cute little photo. My son's preschool graduation is coming up in June, so I'm going to drop that in there. Slide it through. And then I also have this cute little uh, spider web that I used my uh, web punch with and I just used my punch and you can make it any length you want. I made it just to fit at the bottom of my Erin Condren planner and I've got a variety of different punches, snowflakes, hearts, boxes, circle punch, square punch, anyway you can use any punch you want and you slide that in. I just used regular black cardstock and I thought this might be fun for my Halloween spread for October. So I'm gonna pull that through and then um, I'm gonna stop there. Now that that's through I 
and tear it on the serrated edge just like that super easy now if you look closely it says rub and peel so make sure you rub down the top and it just helps make sure that every corner every edge the full surface area has adhesive on the bottom so there you have it you've got this beautiful stickers ready to go so you can just use your scissors your craft scissors to either separate them and I am gonna separate them because I store my, some of my stickers and I'll show you in a minute where I store it my creative memories accordion folder I keep all my stickers stored in there <clears throat> So there you have it. There's some stickers. It's as easy as that. Um, so I'll show you some more stickers that I made. I made, so I keep them all in this cute little accordion folder. So I'm just going to open it up and find some more stickers. Oh, here we go. Here they are. I made some more weigh-ins to buy, appointments, hydration stickers, laundry, telephones, more hydration stickers, more envelopes, more scales. So, so yeah, I mean, this, I've made a lot and I still haven't run out yet. So let's just do a few more. Um, Let's do some hydration stickers. I'll show you how I do it here. Super simple. I grab my paper cutter and like I said, an inch and a half. So you measure at the inch and a half line and then you just cut and there you have it. So same thing for these. Actually what you could do for these, you can either cut them out with your scissors or you could, I have a little square punch, or you could use a little circle punch, and you know, or you could just keep them square. But, uh, so you can really do any number of things. I don't own like anything to make die cuts. I'm perfectly happy with either a box sticker or a circle punch sticker. So here's what I do. Um, now that that has come out, I just trim the edges because like I said, I don't want to waste adhesive. And then here we go. We're going to make some more stickers. This just slides in the bottom. And there's an arrow here. It tells you to push down. Keep it straight. Because you don't want it to go off track. Sometimes it'll go off track. And then you won't get adhesive. So face up. And then you start pulling. And you get to the end and you tear just like that rub and peel and then you're done easy peasy so here we have all these wonderful stickers and they really do go a long way so here let's put some in my planner and like I said I've got a bunch left over that I can you know, oh, why not? Why not? Let's do another one. Let's do another one. You can never have too many stickers. <clears throat> so let's make some motivational quotes. Do, do, do. So we keep it on the line here and we cut. Easy peasy. And then we stick it down the other line. I think that's lined up. And we cut. And that's perfect. There we go. Some cute little motivational quotes. It helps fit the whole square in your, the whole weekly box square in, uh, <clears throat> in your planner. So there we go. When I'm done making my stickers here, right at the end of this video, I'm going to show you um, a little bit of how I use the stickers in my planner. So we put it in, we pull, and we tear. Just like that. 
and then we rub and then we peel. So let's put it in the planner. Um, so I have the, I've got a couple different covers, um, the candy lace and the My Favorite Things. Um, I've been really looking into getting like either the platinum or gold edition covers, but I just don't really want to spend 20 extra dollars on a cover when I love this just as much. So, um, <clears throat> I'll just give you a quick peek at my pl planner before we stick in pictures. Um, I made this dashboard at Staples. They laminated for me and I just write with a Sharpie my meal plan. It's my menu plan for the month. And then on the inside, I've got these cute little post-it notes I kind of use as a dashboard. Just grab some use stickers. My fast scissors. Just like that. All right, so we discard this clear adhesive on the top. And it's got this little cute little sticky. hydrate sticker. We're going to peel that off. Done, there you then have it. And we have it. these cute motivational and stickers. And then I'm going to rub that and peel that off. And I just printed these cute little free printables at home. So really, you're not spending that much money. Like if you go into Etsy or some other shops and buy stickers, you're spending, like it would be probably $6 for about this many stickers from one shop. And when you buy, like, let's say, 10 different stickers for $6, that's $60 um, spent on stickers. And I just think that's ridiculous. So I'd rather just make them so at home. So my weigh-in days are on Sundays. So why don't we cut out a cute scale? Normally, I use my circle punch for these little scales. But I'm just going to fussy cut it. You peel that off. And I weigh on Sundays, so we're going to put that on there. one of these check boxes. Cut one off nicely. Now I have a lot more that I could put on My there. son's graduation is, is in photo June. photo paper. You can use, um, like you can develop pictures and then just use your and circle punch. And then you got your own little photo stickers, so you don't have to buy, you know, the expensive Erin Condren little people yeah. stickers. And then we stick and there it right. you have it. There's so many different ways to make different stickers. I make these washi sticker samples. You stick that on there. Okay. There we go. So there's my planner and the phone's ringing. So just ignore that. So yeah, that's how you use the Zyron sticker maker. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.